we had talked before about what would the next record be? And we thought, well, the way we make our set list, we'll play like 20 songs in five medleys. A lot of that was what made me want to be a part of it in the first place. The complexity of the arrangements with it still being riff-wise relatively straightforward punk music. I was like, well, what if the next record we write like that? And I thought, well, what the fuck is that going to be about? Come March 2020, I had so much to get off my chest. And then halfway through, I'm like, oh my God, this is the song. <laughs> it's the time! Every fear and anxiety of being an essential worker. I'm not really like a words person, but the message and the idea behind it all is very well executed. There is a thesis statement behind the whole thing. We brought in our friend Mike Cambra from Death by Stereo and Adolescence, who we had met on that last tour. And he filled in on drums, did a phenomenal job. He was so fun to work with. As I've always said, like the drummer in this kind of music has the hardest job, the physically hardest job. It's just like you're, you're running for the entire set. And he's a killer player. He's just really, really good. His bandmate, Ephraim Schultz, who's one of my absolute favorite hardcore singers, we also brought in, in my opinion, the number one greatest of all time hardcore band, Lou Collar from Sick of It All. The streets are clean now, devoid of life. But the virus feeds and multiplies. Especially for Panic Dope being a long song with lots of changes and growth and development. So having a couple other voices in on it just makes it that much bigger. And it was written in March, 2020. I couldn't wait to get it out, but one, we were on a break. Two, I couldn't get somebody to fill in if I wanted to, because nobody could be around each other. Paul Miner, also from Death by Stereo formerly, who produced a million bands from Thrice to Agnostic Front and Terror and Fear. Paul Miner is excellent. I mean, the quality of the recording and the engineering is evident if you listen to it. That's killer. I wanted to, to do a record with him ever since our friends Countdown to Life did one about 17 years ago at this point. <laughs> Brought back Ben Polanski, who has played with us on and off since the very beginning in 2006. When you asked if I wanted to play or be a part of it, I kind of jumped on, despite being lazy and not wanting to do the work of it all, because it was really cool stuff and you guys executed it well. So he's playing the bass, Mike's on the drums, and I'm writing the songs and doing the rest. I brought back for a third time the artist Winston Smith. It's all the idea of the sick and twisted mind of Sammy Warmhands. He did such a phenomenal job on our last record, Peril, with all the gun lettering and took my idea and really built on it. And this time I took one of his ideas and flipped it. The idea was an old Dead Kennedy record I made years ago that Sammy Warmhands wanted me to update to the current times. The irony of a compassionate Christ figure, you know, he would be the first person to make a sacrifice for the greater good. So I decided to put a little surgical mask on his face. I pitched this to Winston, he loved the idea and was happy to update this classic, probably his most famous piece for our record. And I'm insanely proud of how it came out. As I was kidnapped by his band, they made me create this piece for your approval. Uh, probably is the best thing I've been a part of of this style of music. And I've been playing this kind of music since I was a teenager. Even with all of it combined, it's just the most polished, the tightest, and it's just, it, it's awesome. It's called Clandemic. I can't wait for people to hear it. If you don't like it, it's over pretty quick. <laughs> so it's like, it doesn't ask that much of you, but if you do like it, I find myself at times when I listen to it going like, man, it's already over. I guess I'll just, I'll play it again. And I feel okay doing that because I didn't write any of this stuff. So it's not like, 
man, my music is really good. I'm going to listen to it again. <laughs> That was it, right? <sighs> yeah.